back to another Take the Lead podcast. I am your host, Tara Chantel. I am so excited to have another Bag Talk session. This one is going to be historic. I got Jared Curry in the building. And you know, like just having this conversation, how we started off was just so spectacular. How we stated 2020 was a blessing. You have your own company, ownership, Come on, ownership this way. At 19, black man doing business at an early age. We love to see it. The culture loves it. Scope marketing. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, Tara. I'm blessed to be on here for everyone out there listening. Excited to share my story um, and kind of help out and provide as much value as I can. 2021 is going to be a great year, and this is just the best way to start. Oh my goodness, Jared, how you stated before we pushed the record button, how 2020 was a blessing because of the perspective you had. Can you tell us more about that perspective that you have? You know what? No, 100%. For everyone out there listening, um, 2020, there were were a lot of hardships. Don't get me wrong. You know, my entire family had COVID um, in my house. Uh, Everyone's fine now, thank God. Um, you know, business went down in quarter one uh, and part, part of quarter two, uh, we saw some losses. Um, a lot of pivoting was done. A lot of crazy stuff happened, but at the end of the day, looking back at it, 2020 may have been the best year because our business hit all time highs, despite being in a recession, almost a depression. Um, and despite other businesses going out of business, our business hit all time record highs. So I'm just so blessed for that. We've been able to touch so many people. And the reason why we were able to do that is because we didn't give up. We had to pivot and we decided we're not, we're not going to quit. We're going to keep going and we're going to make sure we're as successful as we can be. And that mindset change, I didn't even recognize all the stuff that was going on in 2020. I was focused on one thing, growing my business so I can impact more people. And that's how 2020 was a great year. Come on, when you have that laser vision, that focus, and you're clearing and shutting down the outside noise, because that can get in the way. Those distractions, those negative thoughts, the news, the media, but you were just so lasered in. Talk to us about pivoting, though, like how you shifted your mindset to become unstoppable because you truly did not give up. Obstacles tried to take you down, but you ain't let that happen. Tell us about that. You know what? There's a story and um, it's these kids. They, they had their hats. They were, they came, they were walking along this path. They came across a wall. The wall was, they thought it was too high, uh, too thick to, to jump, to climb over. So what did they do? They threw their hats over the wall. JFK tell, tells this story perfectly, so I'm paraphrasing. Um, they threw their hats over the wall. And because they threw their hats over the wall, they knew that if they didn't come home without their hats, their mothers would kill them. So they jumped over that wall that was too high. They threw their hats over and they got the hats because they had a vision. They had, they knew what they needed to do. They forced themselves to get over the wall. And that's what you guys have to do in 2021. Even though there's hardships coming, even though there's a lot of problems, you have to throw your hats over the walls and you have to go grab them. Because if you don't come home without them, there's going to be problems. Wow. That was just so inspiring because how you stated it's gonna be hardships in the end and i feel like every year is gonna be something else like 2021 is not gonna be spectacular i feel as though it is life is what you make it and how you made your life and how you're setting yourself up for success you are so wise like beyond your years and it's so incredible to see like the growth overall at just such an early age has anyone i would love to know when someone tries to just judge you for your age how do you handle that Mm, really good question um to be honest with you uh people don't um it's happened to me in the past uh but once i get talk once i start talking and i talk about marketing which is what i'm good at they listen because guess what? It's the 21st century. 19 new billionaires were created in 2020 alone. Countless millionaires. And you know how they were able to do that? Through the power of digital marketing, through the power of the internet. 
I understand the internet. My generation understands the internet. So if they don't want to listen, they're going to lose out on a lot of money, a lot of opportunity. So the, the, the smart ones know to listen. And I try to hang around smart people. <laughs> For real? Oh my goodness. I feel as though like the best way into having a great dialogue and communication is listening. And a lot of people don't want to do that key component right there is listen. How you stated about the internet and the power of digital marketing, take us through the process of the power in that. I could talk about it all day. Not Please. sure if you are going to want to listen. Please but you know what? <laughs> but be- before I get started with that, I just want to tell a quick little story, right? There's this yeah. guy. He's, he's walking down the street when he falls into a hole. The walls are so steep, he can't get out. A doctor passes by, and then the guy shouts up, Hey, you, can you help me out, doc? The doctor writes a prescription, throws it down the hole, and moves on. Then a priest comes along, and the guy shouts up, Father, I'm down in the hole. Can you help me out? The priest writes out a prayer, throws it down the hole, and moves on. There's a friend. The friend walks by. Hey, Joe, it's me. Can you help me out? The friend jumps in the hole. Our guy says, are you stupid? Now we're both in the hole. The friend says, yeah, but I've been down here before. And I know the way out. I know the way out. Guys, for everyone out there listening, I've been down this road before where I didn't know anything about digital marketing. I barely knew what a Facebook ad was, but I've been down here before and I'm going to show all of you the way out because digital marketing is how you are going to grow your businesses. It's going to be how you improve your life and it's just good to know. So, really quick, the power of digital marketing, right? You're able, it's performance based. So unlike TV commercials, the old ways of marketing, if I ran a commercial, right? It's this, um, it's this guy, he has, you know, chisel abs and he's selling a brand new car or he's promoting a brand new car. Right. And then there's this other TV commercial, same commercial running. It's this guy with the suit, uh, briefcase and stuff like that, right? And he's also promoting the car in the commercial. So there's two different commercials that this company's running. They're running the commercial, but they don't know which one is actually getting sales. They know that it's generating sales, but they don't know which one's generating sales, right? So they make that emotional decision. They say, ah, the guy with the chisel abs, that one's working. I think that's the one. So we're going to cut off the other one, the guy with the suit even though they don't know because they don't have any numbers because you can't track it because it's not performance based with digital marketing. You don't have to make those emotional decisions. You can make logical decisions. You can see the numbers black and white clear as day. And you can clearly see the guy with the briefcase in the suit is the ad that got the most sales actually double sales than the guy with the chiseled abs. That is the power of digital marketing. It's, 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 it's game changing. Man, no. And just to see like the passion that you have for it to better other people's lives and to build their business, because a lot of people don't know this secret to the sauce you got. And especially the secret to like increasing business overall. I would love to know how to succeed, especially increasing revenue and leverage your business with a Facebook ad because people don't understand the power in that. You know, that's why we created our Blackhawk system at Scope. But, you know, one quick thing is a lot of people, they need to figure out what their objectives are with digital marketing. You know, some people are trying to make money right off the bat. That's not that's not really what your objective should be. Digital marketing allows you to open up your floodgates, especially if you're an online business. You don't have to be based in New Jersey. If you're in New Jersey, like I am, you don't have to only be based in New Jersey to run your business. We have clients that are international. Why? Because of the power of the internet. Why are you limiting yourself to one location when you have the power of the internet? So if you know what your what your objectives are, then you know that you need to just build up an ecosystem and generate as many customers as possible. And since you have an amazing product, which I'm sure everyone out there listening has an amazing product, you know, these people are going to come back. You know that they're going to come back and buy. It costs McDonald's a dollar and 25, no, $2 to $2 and 50 cents. I think to bring someone in the door, people get a cheeseburger cost a dollar and 25 cents. Now McDonald's is at another dollar and 25 cent loss. They're at a loss when they get someone in the door. But you know what? Because McDonald's is a multi-billion dollar corporation, they're not stupid. They know what's going on. They're spending $2.50 to get a dollar and 25 cents back. Now, a lot of you guys out there are like, what? This doesn't make any sense. But 
McDonald's upsells them on a fry and a drink and a Coke, right? So because of that upsell, they're bringing the average order value up significantly, surpassing the $2.50 mark. And that's where McDonald's is going to make their money. On top of that, on top of that, McDonald's knows that their lifetime value for a customer is $525, I believe. Don't quote me on those numbers, but it's around that, I believe. So because of that, McDonald's knows that if they lose a dollar and 25 cents on the customer, then it's okay. This customer's gonna come back because that customer's worth 500 and something dollars. So McDonald's is just building up an ecosystem in the beginning. And that is how you can become successful. Stop, stop making these emotional decisions with your business. Uh, I'm, I'm losing money, I'm not breaking even. Guys, it's okay. Am, why do you think Amazon doesn't pay taxes? Because they lost money for the first 10 or 15 years being in business, lost money. Just generating so many customers where they had such a loyal fan base. And that's what you guys have to do. Your cost per acquisition is not going to be profit. Yeah, it really, you really got to pay to play. You got to exactly. pay to play. And just how you can't just think about money. And I, I feel as though a lot of people go in, just want the money, but they're not trying to bring the ideas to life. A lot of great people that are successful thought of an idea, not thought about how I'm going to make money. They thought about the idea and being a solution. And that's how you make it happen. And they weren't trying to get instant gratification. There's no such thing as instant gratification. You have to, you have to plant the seeds and you have to realize that it's going to take a few years to reap the rewards and that's okay. Because if you want to create, sure, if you, if you don't want to create generational wealth, if you just want to make a quick buck, go ahead, try to make money off the bat. But if you're trying to do something special, if you're trying to do something big and make a difference, got to plant the seeds. Don't even think about reaping the rewards till later on. Mmm, mm, Jerry, you said you said the, you said it right there. You just dropped the bag. You just dropped the bag because, as you know, we are millennials. This is a microwavable society. We are living in. Our attention span is so short. You know, we can only watch a quick clip on social media for two seconds. So how do you stay patient on this journey? Great question. Um, I actually had to hire a coach. Um, I was in high school when I started this company. I didn't have any focus. Um, I was all over the place, right? And it's, that's a good question because Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, they knew each other as kids. Not a lot of people know this. They were 10 years old. I think it was uh, Bill Gates' dad. Uh, Bill Gates Sr., right? And uh, he asked the kids, hey, what do you guys think is the most important trait you, uh, someone needs to succeed? So he asked that question. They both had a piece of paper and they both wrote down the same word. They didn't look at each other. They didn't talk to each other, but they both wrote down that same word and that word was focus. Focus. And they were both multi-billionaires today. And they were 10 years old at the time. They, that is the most important thing you need in life is to focus because you know it's like pop it's like popcorn you put popcorn in the microwave and it doesn't pop right away right it's slow you put it in the microwave for 20 seconds nothing's happening but then it starts to pop 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 i call this the popcorn effect i got this from joe kaplan one of my mentors and it just pops up pops, pops 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 all over the place later on right and that's the popcorn effect. It's going to take some time, but when you focus on that one thing and letting the kernels pop, whatever that may be in your business, however this analogy is going to help you, you have to give time for those kernels to pop. But the only way you can give it time is if you focus on your business. Now, the way I've been able to focus myself is by hearing that story from Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, because when you can see two successful people like that having uber success down the line, you're going to want to do the same thing they're doing. No matter how tempting it may be to have multiple businesses. I had a vending machine, I had an ATM, I had this digital marketing agency all at the same time. I had to sell everything else off, all my other businesses, so I could focus on the one most important thing, which is this digital marketing agency, because it impacts the most amount of lives. That's how I looked at it. Mm -hmm. Next, I had to get a coach. I, had to, I hired a coach, paid him to teach me about focus and how to get my mind right. Um, and that has helped me dramatically, you know, from meditation to supplements to just having a nice morning and night routine can make such a big difference in your life. But you guys have to look at the end goal, whatever that end goal may be. And, you know, whatever your why is in life, it is, if it's powerful enough, you'll learn how to focus. Mind over matter this way. 
it's truly mind over matter. So the power in a morning and a night routine, take us through that process. You know what? Uh, a night routine is going to make sure you have an amazing morning routine. People like to talk about their morning routine, but you, you know, they're forgetting one big, one really important thing. It's a night routine. You know, my night routine for everyone out there listening, if you're interested, you know, I have blue light glasses, all the lights in my room, they turn red at I think around seven o'clock. Why? Because that's increasing my melatonin levels. My computer screen completely goes yellow. I have a whole separate app. I'm not using the Mac option. I'm using something uh, called um, F.LUX and it completely tints my screen so that the blue light from the computer isn't um, keeping me awake when I go to bed. I'm taking some supplements like magnesium to loosen my muscles. I'm taking a nice warm shower to loosen my muscles. To, um, and then I'm putting uh, like these nose strips on to increase my breathing so I don't wake up in the middle of the night. And so I can get to REM sleep a lot faster. Because a lot of people, if you're an entrepreneur, you need to get into REM sleep because that's where you dream. That's where the dreams start to happen. That's where you can your mind actually relaxes and you can that you can think of all the creative things you need to think about while you're sleeping um so i'm doing a lot of stuff for my night routine but the only reason i'm doing that is so that i can wake up in the morning and i can have a successful start to my day wow sleep is so important i made sure i get like eight hours of sleep because i realized the importance of sleeping and being to stay creative like this and keeping this momentum in life is so important. I want to talk about scope marketing 16, how you are increasing so many people's lives, so many people's businesses because of the leap and the stance you took on life. What inspired you? I read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Everyone out there listening, if you haven't read that book, that's your homework for today. Actually, I'm not going to call it homework because I hate school. It's called Money Work. Come on, Money Work. Money Work. This is going to help you make more money, guys, and really create a legacy for yourselves. Read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's absolutely mandatory. Um, pause this right now if you're listening to the replay. Pause this podcast. Go to Amazon. Get Rich Dad Poor Dad. He's not paying me to say this, but it's the number one book out there. And then come back to the podcast because you're, you're going to want to listen to the end of it. Um, so I read that book, and that changed my life. Robert said, the rich do not work for money. The rich do not work for money. And he said that schooling is not education. So when I could learn all of that stuff, that taught me that, hey, I'm in the wrong place. I don't belong. I don't, I don't need a nine to five job. I need to create a legacy and I need to have money work for me. And the only way you can have money work for you is if you're providing value. I knew that I could provide value with the digital marketing agency and I could change so many businesses lives like I've been doing. You know, we had a client last month, we generated them like $80,000 in sales. Absolutely changed her life just through the power of digital marketing. So because I was able to, you know, provide so much value, I was able to create a business that works while I'm sleeping. I don't have to be in it. I'm going to Mexico next week for, the, for like two or three weeks, I think. I'm not going to do any work because I created a business and an asset that provides so much value to so many other people. Oh my goodness. That's, that's where it's at the value and not just thinking about yourself and taking yourself out of the equation, thinking about we instead of I, and that's how you make things happen. I love about creating value to people and especially legacy. That's so important. What do you want people to take away from your legacy? You know, we have something at our company called core values. And one of our core values is think a hundred years out. Um, we're not going to be here in a hundred years, but what is the impact that you're going to have a hundred years from now? What impact did you have today? That's going to still be around a hundred years from now. Legacy. You know, I, I want people to remember that I've changed their lives. I want to be someone that propelled someone's, um, gen future generation, you know, their kids, their grandkids. I want to be that person that helped their grandkids get in the position that they are in life down the road because I helped them make so much more money. That's what I want my legacy to be. And and it's it's already set in stone. Like I believe that everything that has happened is going to happen. We just have to continue to walk in it. Like 
your destiny already set in stone. I was just learning that it was like 300 million firms and we were chosen. Like we made it to the egg and now we're here. And we have to like really think about that because how I ask people, like, how are you feeling today? It should always be amazing, blessed. Like I'm so happy to be here because you have to realize the what we what we were up against and how being chosen, especially of off of the time right now in this generation, how we have technology, like we can really have things like we can create the life we want in, in reality if we really shift our paradigm. I think that's so important. Yeah, you are the cap for everyone out there listening. You are the captain of your ship and the master of your destiny. Don't forget that. You determine where you're at in life. If you're not in the situation, the financial situation, or the social situation that you want to be in, it's your fault. That's good news. That is good news because that means you can fix it. Everything is fixable. It is. It is like, and just thinking about a solution, how you create a scope 16 marketing, you're thinking about a solution. You see the problems that we are having in this generation. You're like, okay, I can be the solution for that. Let me get out of my own way and shift my mindset. I love how you stated earlier, just about shifting our mindset and how you even hired a coach to help you with your mindset, because they don't teach us this in school at all. And I would love to know, like, what have you noticed about the generation and people close to you about the limited belief system that one can have? You know, it, we, our grandparents, our parents instilled this to us. Go to school, get a high paying job. That's it. But is that really what you want to do? I, I grew up in a really, really competitive school district. I was blessed and fortunate. And a lot of the kids, they wanted to go to Harvard and Yale and they were getting, they were getting accepted. Right. Um, but that's because their parents wanted them to do that because their parents wanted to brag. It may not be what they wanted to do. Definitely not. I know so many kids that aren't doing what they want to do in life just because I have an employer right now. Um, and she's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Her parents forced her to go to law school. Also, she didn't want to do that. And she loves what she's doing now. She, she wasted so many years in her life just because she was doing what her parents wanted her to do. And because of that, that brought her down. Luckily, she's doing what she loves now. So all I have to say is to all the, everyone out there in our generation, listen, do what you want to do. Life is too short to live by other people's um, expectations of you. Mm. Way too short for that. Wow. And that shows as well, like the conditional love that society has. Like, if you don't do this, I'm not going to love you anymore. If you don't do what I say, or if you don't do what I want you to do, then I'm not going to have this unconditional love that we were destined to have for each other. They feel as though they want you to do what's best for you. But in reality, you know what's best for you. Other people don't know what's best for you. And you have to really have the courage to not care about anybody's opinion, even when it's that close to you, because that can really be challenging and a lot of pressure on people. As well as that, because I know you even said, just all of our parents in general thinking that's like the most secure way to live is to work for somebody else. Really, it's about- I think 2020 saw, just, just a side note, I think 2020 saw that it's actually not the most secure thing you can do, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, when I tell you, 2020 shook it up a bit. I feel that that's why it's a truly a blessing because it, it pushes people to really act on their dreams, act on what God has told you to do and stop making excuses. But the fact of the matter is like to really bet on yourself when other people are not betting on you. I would love for you to just go deeper in that. You know, you have to take the road less traveled. But that's going to make all the difference. It's going to make all the difference. Wow. Wow. So how did you, like, truly just tap into your power at just such an early age? Because you just, you truly shifted the paradigm. You're like, I'm not going to go this route. I'm going to go my own route and do my own thing and be successful like I am right now. I don't, you know, age is, age is the societal thing that we do. But age doesn't really matter. 
um for all the young people out there listening i mean you can do whatever you want <laughs> it's the 21st century you have so much power you have the internet we all are blessed with the power of a computer and or an iphone and if you don't become a millionaire um in this you know in your lifetime and you're living in in these times it's your you did something wrong you messed up somewhere because there was just so much opportunity and i just saw the opportunity and i took it it's it's as simple as that i wish it was some you know something a little bit more philosophical or you know <laughs> curious but it's, it's it's simple there's a massive opportunity out there and i saw it <laughs> you guys can see it too if you just open your eyes up a little bit wow there you go there you go because unfortunately we can be blind jared i mean we have distraction we have the tv we got netflix but how yeah. you got so focused that's why you were able to see you were able to see the opportunity right in front of you and i think that's just so incredible yeah and, and get off of social media <laughs> that's just one other thing i want to say that's such a massive distraction I used to go on Snapchat and streaks and none of it makes sense, but I used to go on Instagram all the time. Just get off the of social media, go on YouTube and learn about finance. Now, if, if maybe you don't want to do anything with money, but learn something, you know, get some value out of it. Don't waste your time on people and cat videos and stuff like that. I mean, um, you can, but you're just going to make people like me more money. <laughs> yes. Like in, <laughs> you like hey i want you to eat too i want you to live your best life as well don't do that to yourself because exactly. like you said earlier it's really you versus you you are standing in your own way and the reason is just so incredible to me because you are a reader and i feel like that is so important how you read rich dad poor dad and now you see the value just off of books have like let me not just watch entertainment that doesn't help my subconscious mind overall so let me increase increase my brain increase my mindset and that's how you get things going 100 percent um re you, you can't be successful if you don't read i hated it reading i never liked it that's why i recommend rich dad poor dad because it'll get you to start like reading again um because it's a you, you're not going to want to put it down wow wow you say you're not going to want to put it down at all i would love to know just how you started scope 16 marketing how do you get companies and clients to gain trust with your business mm -hmm. so you know that's a really good question so thank god a lot of our clients are more than happy to hop on the phone and talk to potential prospects because they'll tell them the truth we do a good job and uh we have a ton of testimonial videos you know with all the social proof we have we have a five-star google review with all the social proof we have people just there's i mean you'd be crazy not to trust us <laughs> so um it's just by we've been able to do such a good job and by doing such a good job people say great things about us that's that's where it's at like trusting and loyalty is like fundamental and that's like core i love how you stated about like the core values your business have can you tell us about the core values oh yeah we have um how many core values? we have about 21 core values now i think uh we're up to you know we have a ton of different ones um, you know, rising the tide raises all ships, persistence beats resistance. There's a ton. And every week our team goes in, we have a self-reflection channel. They go in, they post their self-reflection, they list their favorite core values. We, we live by our core values that determines how we're going to run our business. So our core values, and if you guys aren't doing this for your company, you got to do it. If you have team members, even if it's just you, you have to, you have to have something you live by without any foundation or without living by anything you just you have no morals you have no values you, you know you're just making money that's not what you're here to do you're not just here to make money it's the purpose behind your business and you have to make sure your team realizes that yes that is a purpose behind everything i believe in just moving in purpose as well because it's truly it's truly it's more to life than just making money because we can't take it with us so that cannot just be the only main focus of course we need it to survive because that's the way the capital world made it to be but that's not your purpose here overall and i love that 
tell us. I would love to know more about just marketing to the right clientele that a company needs. Like what about the audience and the niche and how to attract your brand to the right prospects, the right people for you? First, you have to understand what your brand means, um, right? You have to, like uh, going back to core values, you have to understand what, you know, why do you create the company? People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. Simon Sinek, you know, you figure that out first and it's going to become extremely easy to find your ideal customer. Um, for, for example, Facebook ads, you give me your customer list. I can actually plug that in using the Facebook API. It will actually go ahead, create lookalike audiences for me. So I'm able to replicate my customers. So you give me a hundred of your best customers that have spent the most money with you. I can go out there and duplicate those customers and create thousands of them. So if I'm serving ads to thousands of my best customers, heck yeah, I'm going to make a lot of money. You're able to do that with social media. So you don't even have to, that's your targeting right there. Mm. You know what you can do a lot of interest-based targeting and you can just take all the data that Facebook has collected and find people who are most similar to your current customers or your ideal customer. Wow. It's, it's just like that. Just paying attention to the little detail overall is so important and knowing who you are and i love how what you stand for what you bring to other people's lives jared this is truly incredible everything that you're doing for the community for the culture how can we stay in touch with you and get connected with more information about scope marketing yeah so i'm just a normal person so go ahead follow me on instagram at official jared j-a-r-e-d curry c-u-r-r-y like steph um so official jared curry go ahead follow me there more than happy to connect answer any of the questions that you may have oh that's incredible what's next for you i know like you're just living your best life you're going to mexico out here 2021 what what do you want to accomplish our goal for 2021 believe it or not last year we had a financial goal this year is to get the best results possible for our clients. And I mean that. I uh, I actually, I think I have the piece of paper right here, actually, funny. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. And I signed it. This is our goal for 2021. Um, getting, have our clients rave about us by getting the best results in the industry. 2021 is a year for our clients, not ourselves. That's what we wrote down on a piece of paper right here on New Year's. That is so powerful. That is so powerful. And when you write things down, it's going to happen. It's already set in stone. Like that's the power in writing things down. I would love for you to just leave us with some words of wisdom from the heart so we can just make 2020 the best year yet, Jared. Whether or not 2020, in your opinion, was a good year or a bad year, I know it taught you guys a, a lot of things, right? So Use those lessons. Don't make the same mistakes and figure out how you can make 2021 the best year possible. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, 2021 can be an amazing year or not. But the choice is yours. Make it a great year or not. The choice is yours, guys. 2021 is here. So much opportunity. It is the 21st century. If you do not become a millionaire, by the end of this decade, you did something wrong. Guys, reach out. More than happy to help help you. More than happy to connect and network. I wish you all much love. That's it. I wish you much success. It's already set in stone for you, Jared. I love to see you shine. I love what you're doing for us in the community. All you got to do is keep going. And I'm going to meet you at the top. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to see everyone at the top. I'll meet you there. <laughs> How about that? Right. Beat me there. Beat me there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Take the Lead podcast. We truly appreciate you. And we're going to see you at the top, baby. Mm-hmm.